something you've seen before, the kids know our process very well. I think you're going to hear right away how much these students have grown in the past, uh, how long has it been? Five months? Six months? Really only half that time is only see them every other day. So from the first note that you'll hear, um, you're going to hear a huge change in their singing, right? Yes. Before they start, I hope they show you what good singing posture is. So hopefully you can point your student out when they have good posture. Let them know. If they don't, let them know. Let's see.
term called Singlish. And I'm going to see if a student is brave enough to give us the definition of Singlish. I saw Jonathan's hand first. Can you tell us what, I, what Mr. Schaefer means by Singlish? Instead of saying. Here, take the mic, take the mic. <laughs> Instead of saying normal words, you around your vowels when you say them. Like for one of ours, instead of saying love, we say, we say um, love. Because it's, if you vowel, if you round your mouth with a vowel, it makes it sound better when you're hearing it. Right, good. Right, we just kind of talk, you know, hey, you know, like this, but we want in English, in Singlish, we want the vowel shapes to be round, hover lips, forward lips, um, instead of just, you know, having a regular old conversation. Um, so hopefully we hear that tonight. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, we're going to move on to our sight reading demonstrations. I'm going to have students sit, but sit up tall. Sitting up tall. So when you flip into your program, there's actually a copy of what we'll see the students do. If you flip to the back page, this is exactly what students do. Keep in mind, the students have not seen these. So I did not prepare them ahead of time for you. So they're going to do this in real time. So this is part of our TCAPS. Uh, um, the vocal music curriculum. So actually, it's, it's a kind of a requirement for our students. Um, and so what happens in sight reading is that students, sure, still be quiet on stage, um, are shown kind of a musical example that they've never seen before. They've never seen before. And I ask them to sight read it perfectly with rhythm accuracy, pitch accuracy, and solfege accuracy, which is uh, do re mi fa so la ti do, which is one of the kind of English and solfege kind of our two musical languages that we use. So remember, these students have never seen this page before, so I, I did not prep them for this. So they're doing this in real time. And we're going to kind of show you the process that I teach this in class. I think it's important in sixth grade to have a foundation of sight reading so I can get the difficulty of it in the eighth grade. Um, another thing to keep in mind is um, if you like what you see to my parents, I hope that's more into conversation uh, for next year, for singing next year, uh, whether that is in our seventh grade treble choir or our tenor bass choir. Um, if you like what you see, um, I really hope to see a lot of these students here next year. So thank you so much. So example one, what is our time signature? Okay, what is our key signature? Good for you.
this for my proposal for Raymond Gilbert. And the thing that worked a lot in here was dynamics, right? So going from piano, mezzo piano, and so forth, kind of amping up the volume. Um, you'll hear it's kind of fun because they like to, there's a little talking seat part that we get to do. So please enjoy Whisper by Yoda. Please say Whisper. Whisper. That's English. Now, if you can say Whisper. Whisper, no one can hear me, I must whisper. 